Hey guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial for Java. Um, this one's going to be pretty cool because we are going to be learning how to draw shapes onto uh, a GUI, and it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy, so I think you'll uh, get the hang of it. Um, in the last one, we went over how to pretty much create the GUI, which is just a little window that pops up, which is blank. But now we're going to be drawing stuff in it, and when I say drawing, I mean making shapes, 2D shapes. Um, and let's get started with that. What you're going to do first is you're going to create a method, and this method is going to be created by public void paint. We're going to name it paint. It could be named anything you wanted, wanted but let's do paint for this one. And then we're going to use the argument graphics, and then we're going to name it G. Now that we've created our method, we're going to start declaring some variables. Um, uh, let's start off with making a square, a simple square. So what we're going to do is we're going to do int w equals 100, int h equals 100, and these mean um, the width and the height. I could name these height and width, but to be quick, let's just do w and h. And then we're going to do int x equals 200, and then int y equals 200. And these will be the positions on where the square will be drawn on the GUI. Um, and this should draw uh, somewhere around the center since we have 400 by 400. Um, so now let's actually get started to drawing it. All we have to do is g dot draw, and then if you look here, we have tons of things to draw. But we're going to be drawing a rectangle, and then here we enter the arguments for it: x, y, width, and height. So x and y, we already have those variables. But let's just type put in w and h because those are our width and height variables. Now, if you run this and save and we wait for the window to launch you'll see that a little square has been drawn um, well it started to be drawn in the center of the screen but was of course big so it got out to here but we have drawn a square in our GUI now let's do something else um, because squares are for squares um, Instead of having width and height, let's draw a circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to delete this. Um, and we can keep the x and y positions. So let's do int d equals 100. And that can mean diameter, um, and that's why we declared it as d. So let's do g dot draw oval. And then x, y, width, and height. So for here, we're just going to put d and then d because this is our diameter. Um, and of course, we put in the diameter twice because you could uh, either draw an oval or a perfect circle. And since we're drawing a perfect circle, we're going to put in um, equal diameters. So let's draw this by running the application. And you'll see that it drew a nice little circle for us, right? Oh my god. <laughs> it scared me. A spider was just crawling on my arm. Um, and so, back to the lesson, you can see that it has drawn the circle right around where the square was drawn. Now let's draw an actual oval. Let's do int d2 equals 250. And let's replace the second d with d2 and then let's run it and you'll see that this circle went a little far off screen so we can extend this a bit but if you look here it drew a nice little oval for us and that is pretty much how to draw you can also do um, different things like g dot fill we'll do draw a filled oval a fill circle uh, fill rectangle etc um, so let's draw before we go a quick filled um, rectangle. So let's do fill rec and we can do x, y and then 
we can make two quick variables, int w equals 100, and then, oops, I forgot the semicolon, and then int h equals 100. And then for x and y, let's put in 50, and then 50, and then for the width, we can put in w, and for the height, we can put in h. And now, if we run this, you'll see here that we have drawn a filled square. And um, actually, I want to do one more thing. I know I've said I want to do one more thing quite a bit, but I do. I want to show you this because it's pretty cool. Uh, instead of just having a filled black square, what if we wanted, to, wanted it to be different color? Well, to do that, we would do g dot set color, and then we would do color, and then let's try green. Oh, um, and not in all caps. Let's do uh, color dot, and then we can pick from here. So let's pick uh, cyan because I like that color. And if you watch, we can run the program. And we've drawn a filled square with cyan as the filling color. Um, and so one last time to break it down. This is what we've done. We first drew, well, not first, but we drew a oval. And it accepted the parameters x, y, which was the position. And that was 200 by 200. So it drew it and the position 200 by 200. And then the first diameter was set as 100 pixels. So we put that in there. And then our second diameter was set as 250 pixels. So we put that in there. And then we drew a filled rectangle. And we placed it at the position 50 by 50, x, y. And then we wanted to draw width and height. So we drew, we made the width. 100 and then we made the height 100 so it drew a 100 by 100 pixel square and we also set the center color of our square we set the color to cyan um, and we can also set it to something else if we wanted to but we chose cyan and that's pretty much uh, a quick breakdown um, of what we've done and how it works and I will be going over a few more um, shapes uh, in the next tutorial and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.